The Southern Angami Public Organization has refused to lift the indefinite shutdown despite appeals made by different sections of the society. Talking exclusively to Northeast Live Sapo President Kevi Podi Sofi maintained that the shutdown will continue until the Manipur government addresses the demands put forward by the organization. When asked about his response to reports uh, that the Manipur and Nagaland chief ministers were mulling to move the center to end the deadlock, Sophie said that such a decision will not impact the SAPO's agitation. Well, the SAPO or uh, SAPO president maintained that no communication has been made by the Manipur government to call off the strike. However, the Nagaland government has sent its representatives to deliberate with the SAPO leadership and pacify the situation. But the SAPO president feels that there is no reason as to why the agitation should be called off. It's the seventh day of the indefinite ban called by the SAPO. Uh, many appeals have been made to SAPO to call off the ban. Uh, what is going to be the stand of the uh, SAPO on this? Our stand is very clear. Until our demand is made and without having a, a concrete decision given by anything, any, any organization or anybody, we are not in a position to leave the ban. Has there been any communication made by the Nagaland state government and the Manipur government? Uh, well, Manipur government has not made any communication direct to us. They are, you know, social media I have seen that they have an appeal, appeal to the government of Nagaland to pursue this and leave the ban. But uh, government of Nagaland, uh, we, we this uh, represented by Commissioner Nagaland and DC, they have called one day meeting and then we were appealed to leave the ban. But uh, it is, we don't have any reason to leave the ban as of now. Okay. Hmm. Well, the Chief Minister of Manipur in the last day of the assembly had stated in the House that if the state, if the two states are not able to resolve the issue, then they will take the matter to the centre. It's up to them. That will have no impact on us. Yeah. So another thing, sir, the uh, All Nagaland Drugs Medical Association had also <coughs> appealed to the support to allow the vehicles. No, directly we were not approached. We, I have just seen in the paper that they have not been allowed, but without approaching us, how can they say that we have not allowed them? Okay. If they approach us on the humanitarian ground, we may allow, but officially no one came and approached us on this. Meanwhile, Manipur Chief Minister Rain Biren Singh has written to the centre as well as the Nagaland government to take cognizance of the matter and initiate necessary steps. Chief Minister Rainbirin Singh said that the agitation of the SAPO has no significance and maintained that uh, his government cannot simply give in to the demands of the organization. According to the Manipur Chief Minister, the demands of the SAPO is connected to the territorial integrity of his state. Manipur Chief Minister Rainbirin Singh believes that he will get a positive response from the centre as well as the Nagaland government in pacifying the situation. Lady Bird, a border area, the state's border area, the Lady Bird in Siga, Imphal, capital city of the state, Siga, any character relationship, Lady Bird, what number don't get over communication? Sigi Pochi, Masi Sumnagi, Aina Salaga, or Moina Laga, Unabaka Nataba, Dali Gishmina bus service commercial, Helga, private key, Nataba, Common Gizi, a home Mamandani, a Tava Mamaldani. Masiki service le helaga di ay koi the hen and nakshin na bhi maram se maram se koi rakpa. Adu na munna tanar kadanga si si honourable former minister honourable MLA dikhogi kuthang be torka na ngarang si mau council gi adagi naga people organisation gi NPO gi president adagi mau student gi president adagi mau women's gi mother association gi mayam lakh tan to adagi ngasi si ay koi na hanagi prepare toro bani bus samat haba hoksi hai na. We are going to extend it up to Hanagi, Dimapuda, Lairamba Station.